In this video, I'm going to show you how to create a meme coin. So basically, I have uploaded this super short tutorial, a speedrun really, uh, coming from White Lights, where in basically 27 seconds, he created everything, uh, taking the code from Open Zeppelin, uh, then taking that to Remix, deploying it there, uh, and basically having everything in 27 seconds. So I'm even going to show you the full video here. You can see it on screen right now, what he's doing. Uh, I'm going to explain it step by step so that it's more uh, easy to understand what's really going on and how, uh, how what he do uh, and what you need to do really to uh, make it work for you. So this is 27 seconds. We're going to do a little bit longer, but still it's going to be uh, pretty quick to deploy your own uh, meme coin. So the first feeling uh, to do is actually to go to OpenZeppelin again. You can go with wizard.openzeppelin.com uh, and uh, choose ERC20. That's the format for the tokens on uh, on Ethereum. Uh, so basically you can uh, you can name it. I have already named it like meme coin, MMM, and there's no token like that. So don't don't go anywhere. I'm, I'm not going to deploy it. I'm not going to create a token on mainnet just for the just, just for the reminder. So uh, this is the this is the amount that you want to put in. And basically the way it works in the very simple case is that uh, you're going to get a token named meme coin and you're going to get the supply of uh, 1 million or, or 10 million uh, meme coin tokens. Uh, this part here means that whoever deploys the contracts gets all the tokens. So basically uh, you're going to deploy your 20 token and everything is taken from that library. You really don't have to do anything else. There are some additional features that you can uh, or maybe you want to read about the, and basically they're all explained. So for example, mintable means that you will be able to mint uh, more supply. Burnable means that uh, token holders will be able to destroy the tokens. You can add that as well. Pausable means that the token, the, 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 the whole uh, contract can, can be paused. Uh, different permits, votes, flash minting, snapshots, so stuff like that. Uh, you can do something more advanced, but if you just want a simple token, uh, then actually this kind of code will uh, will be enough to do it. Maybe you can also add ownable uh, so that you have the, uh, the, 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 the contract being owned by the administrator, by the one who, who deploys that. So this is really super easy. And once you have it, then it's you, you just click on open in Remix, you will get another card uh, just like that, that will show you basically that uh, you can you, you you have the code that you uh, that you have chosen and basically uh, on the on the left side first of all you need to compile the contract you probably will see something like that you click on compile it's going to be compiled and then you go to uh, deployment uh, and you have to choose from the list here there's a bunch of things uh, you can either choose some kind of uh, test nets uh, do it do it locally but basically if you want to deploy it on mainnet on, for example on girly uh, the only thing you have to do is connect your metamask wallet with remix uh, choose the network so for example if you want to deploy on girly you have to choose in metamask girly and if you want to deploy on mainnet you have to choose in your metamask wallet uh, mainnet and the wallet from which you want to deploy once you have that you basically uh, you're fine you have the account uh, you hear you it's written that you have the mainnet uh, available here so everything is fine here uh, yeah you can you can do a bunch of things and basically once you're ready you just click on deploy and that's it and you confirm the transaction in your metamask wallet uh, then some uh, things will appear here and you will see the contract address of your token. Uh, copy that because once you have it, you'll be, you, you'll need to copy that and you will be able to go to Etherscan. So for example, I will give here an example because I'm not going to deploy it. Uh, let's go for example with Pepe token. Once you have the contract, you'll be on Etherscan, you'll be able to write the contract here, you will find the token. Uh, and then if you go to contract, you will see that it's not verified. It means that uh, they don't have your code. And basically the best thing you can do is try to verify it yourself. This always gives some kind of trust from uh, from the community because you want to see uh, what what's actually in the contract so that there's no surprises. Uh, and also it's a cool thing because you can see what other contracts look like. like so for example, if you don't want to use the wizard from uh, Open Zeppelin, then you can go to any meme coin that you want to look at. And for example, Pepe and go through the the contract we're going to do that just right now so uh, if you go to the contract here on etherscan you'll be able to see uh, the contract itself and i'm going to go through to see that actually they have 
used uh, also the basics of Open Zeppelin, though it's written in one file. So even though uh, you, you know this code here in Remix is super short, but actually uh, there's a lot of things happening here in ERC20.sol and Ownable.sol. Uh, and once you try to verify that on Etherscan, then basically uh, you need to copy and paste everything that's in those libraries. And basically that's what's happening here. So for example, you can see that that they have this Ownable file .sol as well. Uh, and basically this is the content of what they're copying. So this is not nothing original. This is coming from Open Zeppelin. Same for uh, all the dependencies uh, for ERC20. You will need ERC20 as well. Uh, so it's just a copy paste. This is nothing original. This is all coming from Open Zeppelin here as well. Uh, so you will see actually how much of this uh, contract is redistributed. This is the ERC20 contract uh, that you also import uh, that needs context ERC, I, ERC20, I, ERC20 metadata. Uh, and only then will come the actual contract for uh, for Pepe, which is super simple. You'll see in a moment. So we're going down, going down. This is everything is copied from Open Zeppelin. So this is the open standards, open code uh, that you can use, reuse in your contract. And only here you can see at the very end we have contract for Pepe token. And basically this is it. This is the contract that basically gives you. Uh, the, they have like different variables, max holding, mean holding, the address on Uniswap of the pair, they have like blacklist for I guess blacklisting like different certain bots maybe, uh, they have a bunch of things for like I think pre-sale, but apart from that, this is it, this is like uh, I guess 50 lines of code, so this is the only the only original thing. I'm going to show you another another meme coin, which is even simpler than that. This is basically what you would get if you would get uh, this open Zeppelin, the, the code that you get here, the, the, the one I showed you here. So basically you would get uh, this token Turbo. Turbo, you know, this is the, I, I was talking that about, about that on my channel as well, created by an artist using ChatGPT. But basically uh, this contract is entirely taken from Open Zeppelin ERC20 token. And again, if you look at what's here compiled, then actually, if you don't, don't know that, then you might think that it's complicated, but actually all those libraries are pretty standard and they only appear here once you try to verify the contract. So again, you have Context Soul coming from Open Zeppelin. Uh, you, have, uh, uh, you have Ownable as well, the contract. Uh, then you will have ERC20 as well. You, have, you can see here you have IERC20 soul, and then you will have a bunch uh, of similar li libraries going to uh, basically you're trying to have ERC20 uh, written here. You have contract ERC20, right? So this is some standard again. Open Zeppelin, this is nothing new. Uh, so this is all copy paste. Basically, uh, in our code here from Open Zeppelin on Wizard, uh, this is all hidden here with import. But the, the way the Etherscan works is that once you try to verify the contract, you will need to copy and paste um, the, the, the actual the inside of the contract. You won't be able to have the import. So this is the problem with verification. If you have this problem, then probably the easiest way is to actually, for example, go to Turbo, copy and paste all those contracts like they did uh, and paste that in uh, Etherscan once you try to verify. So going back to going back to Turbo, uh, this is still, this is super standard. Again, this is ERC20 token. Uh, so they doing nothing new. This is all copied from Open Zeppelin. Uh, and uh, again, ERC20 burnable. So they have the burn function. Again, nothing new taken from Open Zeppelin. And only now at the very end, you really have the, the code for Turbo. And this is the entire code. Uh, this is something new. So this is actually 13 lines of code. This is really what, what's happening. And the only thing that's happening is that uh, they basically saying that Turbo is an ERC20 token that is burnable, that is ownable. So they ha it, it has administrator and basically the constructor gives you uh, the, the short name for it. It gives the initial supply. Uh, so usually take that. Plus th this thing means that you have 18 decimal, decimals, so 18 zeros after, after the zero. This is the total, the, uh, total supply. And then the distribution means that everything comes in the beginning uh, to, the, to the messenger. This is really it. This is like super simple as you can see. Uh, so creating your own meme coin uh, really, really is simple. And if you know what you're doing, this should really take you like a couple of minutes at most. Uh, of course, to make everything correct, you probably would take more time to, to verify that it 
contains everything you want to, but basically creating your own meme coin, putting that on Etherscan, putting that on blockchain is super easy. So if you create that, then the next natural steps is to add liquidity. So uh, the situation is that after deployment, after having this contract uh, here, uh, you basically will have it uh, address on uh, on Etherscan, right, for the transaction. So basically, uh, with, let's, let me show you on Turbo what I mean. Uh, you will have this address here, uh, you, uh, the, the uh, the actual contract, right? So those will be the tokens. And uh, you go with that to Uniswap and on Uniswap you'll be able to add liquidity, uh, adding for example, ETH or USDC plus this token. And you just import this token by providing the address and that's it. And you can provide the liquidity and then any, any person can buy swap you, ETH to your token or back. So all together, if you know what you're doing, it's really like 20, 30 minutes of work at the very most. If you're speed running, then probably you can do the whole process within a minute together with adding liquidity to Uniswap. Uh, of course, assuming that the gas is okay and you, you won't get your transaction stack, which is something to be remembered because especially right now, uh, the gas tends to be pretty high in this meme coin season. So this is it for the deploying of like a simple meme coin. Uh, let me know if you have any questions. I can go into details into some of those things as well. But basically creating your own meme coin is really simple. So that's why you should be careful if you're on like the investing side because anyone can create a meme coin. It's super simple. Uh, so the value should be taken from something else in general. Uh, thank you for watching. Subscribe to the channel for more uh, things about deployment, but also new coins, new trends, new narratives in crypto. I tend to cover those quite a lot. So see you in the next video. Subscribe. Cheers.